Animal sales was a profitable and prestigious business since most real animals had died out after the Terran War. There were plenty of electric ones, though, powered by rechargeable batteries. No self-respecting human would own one of those frauds. What do you know? About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. The shop's been thrashed. You ought to see this tiger cub they got in there. It's a goddamn tragedy. How's old man Runciter holding up? State of shock, he's been moaning and complaining about his world caving in. You'd feel the same way if they were your animals. How many perks? At least two. Bloody footprints all over the scene. Must be a delightful sight. I've gotten all I can from that. Interesting. Find something? A piece of chrome. From a car? No, I think it's horse chrome. Bag it and tag it. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even. Quite a pair. McCoy, LPD. I'm absolutely certain Lucy Devlin was involved in this heinous act. She's the young girl who works for me. She's responsible for all this mayhem? No, of course not! It was two men acting in concert with her, obviously. Obviously? what they look like? Big and scary and absolutely malevolent. Big caliber, possibly off-world combat weaponry. Ballistics might give me a fix on it. My precious one. She was my baby. Can you think of anything they might have been after? First, I thought they wanted money, but I don't keep any in the shop. Then I thought they wanted to steal my animals, but they started executing them. Could they have been replicants? Who else would be capable of such barbaric acts? My precious one. She was my baby. Do you ever do any business with the replicant manufacturers, Tyrell Corporation? I resent that accusation. Just wondering. Officer. Last May, I personally sold Governor Kolvig an exquisite Berseron coat. I have been a guest at his house on three separate occasions. Do I look like I need to carry artificial product? Tell me about this Lucy. There's not a lot I can tell you. She's only worked for me for about a month. She's about 14 years old, with pink hair. A very attractive young thing. How'd you find her? She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone. And he's a very reputable wholesale. You treat her well? As well as any young tot should be treated. She got a desk? Or someplace where she worked? She used to eat over there. My precious one. She was my baby. What? Why? You raped her. What? Who? Lucy. That's ridiculous. I... My precious one. She was my baby. Go ahead, little man. Lie to me. You'll only do it once. You're no better. No better than those thugs who attacked me. Mensch, you know, it's please, it please tell that you know animals. It was my animals. Some of them were... fake. You won't. You can't tell anyone. My reputation. Your reputation? Unbelievable. No! The tiger was real. I swear it. My precious one. She was my baby. I sacrificed everything to get that tiger. And now she's dead. Clovis wanted Runciter to suffer, but I wanted him dead. If there was a hell, maybe we both got what we wanted. Something about the bastard made my flesh crawl. 
I'd done the city a favor, and maybe I'd done him a favor too, since his animals were all dead. Hmm, a toy dog. A candy bar. Yuck. Howie Lee's in Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. There's not a lot. There's not a lot I can tell you. She's only worked for me for a short while. It didn't add up. Animal murders, the lack of any theft, the small animals alone were worth a good chunk of change on the street. It seemed more like an act of vengeance. Find anything else out here? Zilcho. Row actions inside. Abstract art. All over the walls and ceiling. I never did appreciate art. Real sushi was a luxury reserved only for the elite, since most sea life had become radioactive after the Third Terran War. The rest of us had to eat new sushi, soya mixed with off-world lichen. McCoy, LPD. I want to ask you a couple of questions. Sorry, my man. I just don't got the time. Beautiful night, isn't it? When business thriving, night always beautiful. Excuse me, pal. McCoy, LPD. Hey, big guy. Busy. No time for talk. McCoy, itazura suruna. You want something, you talk to me. Sorry, Howie. Got to mix more out back. Hey, big guy. This from your place, isn't it? Could be. Chopsticks come from Yoshi's restaurant supply. 